Hello, are you an art student looking for a great online course or are you a digital artist looking for a place where you can learn how to do traditional art? There is a great course online that will train you to do exactly that. A short while ago, I was invited to try the terrific art course called Evolve Artists. The course involves painting in traditional media, specifically in oil paint. Upon visiting the website, you can view the impressive work done by the students. The course is well structured and taught through instructional videos by Kevin Murphy, as well as critique and feedback given by a staff of knowledgeable artists. Now, let me share my experience going through the first block of instruction with you. Once you register for the course at Evolve, they will send you a box of materials. In this box, there's contained everything that you would need to complete your assignments in the first two blocks. Now, in this box, you have a bottle of linseed oil, which is used to, to speed up the drying of the paints as well as thin the paints out. A knitting needle. Some of these, you know, you, you'll learn what they're for as you go on. A uh, palette knife and a dropper for the, for the linseed oil. A bottle of clove oil which retards the drying of the paint slows down the drying of the paint so that you in case you need to work on the on the project a little longer and you have a box of uh, four tubes of old holland paint old holland is a very very good paint brand now these are, are usually very expensive if you go buy them on your own and uh, you only have four shades of gray, gray, which is what you'll be using to uh, work on your assignments. There's no color in the first two blocks. That comes later on. Here's a measuring tape. And then what you have is also a set of old Holland brushes, which turned out to be very nice brushes to use for your assignments. There you see old Holland on the the, um, the brush handle. Then you have uh, some palette paper, which of course comes in handy. You have photos of the assignments that you'll be painting. And then behind those photos, you have a checklist of your assignments and behind that are the templates for the assignments which you will trace onto a canvas the, the um, free drawing will come in later then uh, transfer paper and finally canvas pads so right there you have everything you need to complete your assignments in the first two blocks The exercises are homework. Begin with simple monochromatic squares. It may seem tedious, but one lesson builds upon the other and prepares you for handling more complex problems down the road. It has been a while since I worked with oil paints. Even though the exercises were very basic, Things like gradients were difficult for me because after some years, I had developed different ways of tackling similar problems with things like blending the paints. But I was determined to follow the instruction in order to benefit from the learning experience. This was important since I mentioned one lesson builds upon the previous one. Besides, it was always a good thing to reacquaint oneself with basics, not only to be reminded of fundamentals, but to come across something that I may have missed or not fully understood. The discipline of doing this was a reward in itself. With the squares, you learn how to make clear and clean edges, and you learn how to apply certain brush strokes. You go on to apply what you learn in the next set of exercises, but you also add the blending and a couple of new brush strokes. When you are done with the squares, you apply what you've learned in those exercises to painting cubes and spheres. More shapes are added and the paintings begin to get more complex as you go along. 
I particularly enjoyed when we began to add reflections and highlights. Although the range of shading from light to dark was limited, the exercises taught control of the range of values, limiting me to only what was necessary and fundamental to creating the image. As I mentioned earlier, all this is taught in a series of online videos. The exercises are clearly explained and demonstrated. The series of videos begins with advice on how to earn money as an artist and then moves on to the lessons. After you complete a lesson, you are unable to move to the next lesson till your work has been evaluated. Once you are done with your painting, you submit your work online to the Evolve Homework tool. I use my phone to take a picture of the artwork and to submit it. It is very simple and convenient. The feedback is quick within 24 hours, although the wait was actually much less. Knowledgeable instructors will critique the work and provide instruction on how to improve on what you've done. This is where the experience goes beyond just learning from videos to someone evaluating your work, giving you feedback, and in addition, you can also add your own comments when submitting your work in case you would want a specific question answered. You can even schedule time for a one-on-one -on -one chat with an instructor, adding another level of personal instruction so that if you had questions or wanted help in resolving some artistic struggle, there is more than one way to get feedback. Using the one-on-one, -on -one, I was able to speak to Piper Talladay, one of the instructors there, and talk about the program and how I was having a difficult time, especially with creating smooth gradients. Evolve also has an online community. There is a Facebook page where students meet and share their work. On the Evolve website, you can also see many examples of the students' work at every level. You can see how the students turn out impressive paintings following the curriculum. There are more opportunities to interact than I had time to explore. There are study groups as well as live online sessions. I had a great experience taking the first block of this course. It is as good a program as one can hope for to learn traditional art. Even if you are a digital artist, this course will most definitely give you a better understanding of painting. If time permitted, I would love to have continued the course all the way through. I have had training in traditional media, working from the model since I was a student at the High School of Art and Design, then at Parsons School Design, and finally at the Art Students League, all in New York City. For me, this course was not only helpful and instructive, it was more than useful, worth every minute I spent. If you are like me, a person who loves to learn about art, this course will not disappoint you. I highly recommend Evolve Artist Training at whatever skill level you are at, especially if you are not used to traditional media at all. Look down below for the links for the website so that you can begin your art training.